Hello everyone, it's been a little while since I've made a video because I just got done moving, just started a new position at work. So now that everything has sort of settled down, I'm hoping to make some more. One of the things I've been doing with Gus, Haley, and my girlfriend Brianna is we've been going to some of the restaurants in Pensacola that are a little less known. Hidden gems, if you will. Now bear in mind, this is just a couple restaurants in Pensacola, and I know that there are a lot more. So if you know some that you really enjoy that are lesser known, please feel free to share in the comments. We did exclude pretty much every restaurant down the Palafox Strip, even if they were lesser known, just because they're on Palafox. So these are a little bit more out of the way. Please enjoy Hidden Gem Restaurants in Pensacola. I think it's behind that gas station, so. We're, we're at the tar park at McDonald's park a lot, and then cross over to where it's at. Great. Already looking pretty sketchy. Just like it's gonna block that. Block, block. Here we go. Okay, let's go. One of the reasons we chose El Asador Mexican Restaurant is because it was rated by Business Insiders, one of the top 50 Mexican restaurants in America. Look at that authentic cilantro. Cheers. We had ordered two tacos and a burrito, and the first thing I'm eating here is a chicken taco. And to be honest, it was a little dry, and not exactly top 50 material in my opinion. Up next was the steak taco. A little bit better, but still not up to par with what I was expecting. However, Gus seemed to enjoy whatever he was eating. And then finally, on the third try, the very last thing we ordered, the burrito, I finally had what I came here for. Now we're talking. There we go. This is really, really good. I'm getting some spice though. Oh, I'm too white for I'm too white for us. <laughs> Up next, we headed to a personal favorite of mine located in Cordova Mall, Nippon Sushi. We had ordered some pretty basic stuff, some nigiri, Alaskan salmon roll, and a Boston roll, along with some cucumber salad and some chow mein. What is that? It's cucumber salad. It's cucumber salad. The finest of the lines. The lines. Every time I've ever come here, everything has always been five out of five. Absolutely delicious. This is gonna be good. <laughs> Up next is Jerry's Drive-In. This is a very homey restaurant. My only complaint here is that they only accept cash as payment. But if you can get over that, the food is fantastic and pretty reasonably priced. Another personal favorite of mine, Sunshine Garden Cafe, located right next to Baptist Hospital. They're famous for their sandwiches and soups. The only real complaint I have is that they're only open on the weekdays till about 3 p.m. So after work or on the weekend, you're straight out of luck. My sandwich of choice is the turkey Brockefeller. And some potato cheddar soup, which I had to take to go. Then there's the Burger Factory, which has been called one of the best burgers in Pensacola. Once we got our food, we just started to admire the burgers mm. themselves. Get your reaction. Yep, looks nice. Mm. Veggie burger, and I cheated, and I have cheese, and it has some garlic and mayonnaise. Bad friends. <laughs> Needless to say, it held up to its reputation. There are a few honorable mentions that we just didn't get to. Ozone's, the Blue Dot, which I hear is one of the best in Pensacola as well, and Sumo Sushi Bar. Let me know some of your favorite local restaurants here in town. And please make sure you check out some of my other videos as well. 